Thanks, Larissa. New this morning, we are continuing our week-long series on getting your kids safely back to school. We hosted a virtual roundtable with five educators across Tampa Bay to hear their concerns and what they're looking forward to this school year. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazella asks what they know about being in a classroom. What does a classroom look like now? I was talking with a teacher um, yesterday from Sarasota County who kind of had some concerns about, you know, how many kids would be in a classroom and the responsibility on educators to space everyone out. What does that look like for all of you? I think it's for all other schools, but I know at my school, we're um, installing barriers on the desks, you know, plastic barriers, basically. Um, so, I mean, I can't imagine what that's going to look like. I haven't, I have yet been in my classroom yet, but um, then you'll have to space them out. You know, the six feet is the magic number that we're trying to space them out. But it's hard when I have a, you know, a classroom that typically has 30 plus students and I'm being asked to space them out, you know, six feet, if not more. Um, it's really challenging. It is. Um, and my other, my other perspective with this was like, I'm a grandma. My, my daughter decided not to send her, my, my elementary kid, grandkids to school because she doesn't, she feels like she's, they're not going to be, they, they're not going to have all that freedom to move that an elementary kid will need. And th it's going to be really hard for them to just sit down at a table all day long and just kind of sit still, not share anything when, when they're with, we're teaching them be kind, share, and, you know, be, be nice to each other and, and participate and be friends. But now we're like, but stay away from everybody. And Lauren talked to those educators for more than 30 minutes. If you want to hear the full conversation, just go to abcactionnews.com slash back to school.